Hi everyone, some of you may have noticed that I removed a video that I posted earlier about this VOOC charger from Oppo. Now the reason why I removed it is that I feel it wasn't accurate because after further testing I found out some interesting things about this charger. First of all, if you look at the cable itself, it looks like a regular micro USB cable, but it's actually a seven pin version, which means you cannot use a regular micro USB charge cable with this charger. And the next thing which is even more curious is that on the USB A type, there's a fifth pin hidden inside. I'll try and shine some light down there and show you. Now I'm not sure if you can see this on video, but you've got the four normal pins at the bottom, but look at the very back inside, there's an extra pin just hidden at the back. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is. Trust me, there's an extra pin hidden at the back. Now the reason they've done this is that obviously VOOC can carry a high current and they don't want you using a really low quality cable that just can't handle it. So that's why they've done this kind of proprietary cable. Now the problem with that is it stops my USB watt meter from working because that extra fifth pin in here is doing something. Now I'm talking to someone else, one of my commenters, and we're trying to work out exactly how it works because with that fifth pin, if I put a piece of tape over it and then put it in the charger, VOOC no longer works. So it's definitely something to do with that fifth pin. But inside the charger, there's only the four regular pins. So we're not exactly sure what that fifth pin does. The only thing we can imagine is that it's somehow shorting between the two data lines or it's a jumper between just one of the data lines and that fifth pin. I'm still testing and I haven't really had much success yet, but it's definitely something to do with that fifth pin. That fifth pin. So if I plug the cable in halfway, you can see that the phone has started charging, but there's no VOOC and it's only charging or it's only pulling around 10 watts from the AC. Now if I push it in all the way, you can see VOOC started and it should start drawing around 20 watts. Now you have to give this watt meter a few seconds to you know, increase the average because this is averaging every few seconds. And there you go, it's drawing around 19 watts from the AC. Now we can do this because we're measuring between the wall and the adapter rather than between the adapter and the phone itself. And the interesting thing about VOOC is that even when the phone is unlocked, let me show you, there you go, you can see it's still drawing the full amount of power, 19 watts, unlike the Qualcomm Quick Charge on the LG G5 where when you unlock the screen, the power drops down to around 3 watts, 5 watts. This one with VOOC is still fast charging even with the screen unlocked, so that's very impressive. So I made a mistake. Um, the thing is, when I first tested this charger and I plugged it in, I didn't get any VOOC logo on the screen. It just didn't come up. So I never realized that when I was measuring my USB watt meter, something was going wrong. So we can still measure from the AC side, but we can't measure between the power adapter and the phone. And that's something I want to work out how to get around. So if you have any information or any suggestions, please let me know. I've tried quite a lot. I've tried having the pin pushed down while connected to the watt meter. I've tried shorting out the data pins with that fifth uh, pin. Tried various things and I just cannot work out what's going on. So if you have any ideas, let me know. But you know what, VOOC charging does seem very compelling. Um, they also say it doesn't get as hot when it's charging the battery. I haven't tested that myself. That is something I can do with my FLIR thermal camera. I could measure how hot this one gets with VOOC against a device being charged by Qualcomm Quick Charge. So if you're interested in seeing that, just let me know. But yes, it actually charges really fast, um, but you just cannot put anything between this. Now I've used my watt meter with Qualcomm Quick Charge and various other charging technologies, no problem at all, um, because this is straight through. It's not breaking the data lines, it's not messing with anything. But the reason why it didn't work is because this is not a regular USB cable. There's that extra pin and that's where it's going wrong. So yeah, that's why the video from earlier has disappeared and this is the explanation. And there you go. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.